yes, now we're reshooting this because I had a stupid samurai ponytail in the back of my head before because when I get dazzled by the lights, I just get crazy. We're in Times Square if you haven't figured it out yet by all the signage. And there is definitely signage. Um, it's still a hustle. It always was a hustle. Now it's just corporate hustle instead of individual uh, picking your pocket. It's a corporate pickpocket. Even New York's finest being lights here. Uh, people romanticize about Times Square. And it's easy to romanticize unless you had to work here or had it ended up here by... Nobody ended up here by choice. Um, it was kind of like got hit by the ugly stick in the old days. It was a lot of porno theaters and um, mean people who got off the creek bus late at night and fed on the blood of young teenagers like myself, vampires and everything. So I'm not going to get all misty-eyed, that's for sure. But uh, that having been said, it, it held at least a kind of individualist, capitalist, hustler charm. Now it's just not charming. But it's charming if you were from Con Edison. It's definitely a lot of lights, which is impressive. I mean, you got just on a Christmas tree light level, I am very impressed. We were here a week ago, and they've just put up a million more lights than last week. You know, there's a broken heart for every light on Broadway, and there's a lot of broken hearts around here. Um, I got my ass kicked by an agent. Well, and actually, first by a club owner who uh, knocked me off a bar stool for reading Lenny Bruce. The bar was empty. And then I got my, my agent over, and um, we had champagne, and everything was fabulous. And then a day later, he knocked me off the bar stool again. So if I want a librarian, I'd hire a librarian. So I went right onto 8th Avenue, like head first, and all these working girls were laughing at me. And I'm only telling you this story because I was expecting philanthropy from snakes. So don't knock on the door that says poison, thinking you're going to get ice cream. And then don't want your agent cry about it because he's going to kick your ass too, because that's what happened to me. But we live and we learn, and that's okay, you know, it's all part of life's tapestries. As long as we don't put a samurai ponytail in our hair, we're going to be fine. And from that, in the crossroads of uh, Disney and uh, Hard Rock and this rock and that rock and JVC and uh, all this signage, I send my love. And it does keep your children off the stage or for this stage.